What's up guys, this is Jonathan. I work at Mack Hike Hyundai in Victoria, Texas, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the all new 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe. A vehicle of this size is great for a small family. It gives you plenty of headspace as well as storage space in the back for the things you may need to take with you on a road trip. Starting from the top, the little triangle up there, that's where your lane centering technology and lane keeping technology is going to be housed. As you move down the vehicle, you'll see the hood slopes down into the brushed aluminum grill. It has a really smooth look and feel. Further we go down, you have your front parking sensors all through here. So that's gonna detect whenever you're getting close to something up ahead of you. And then back behind here is where the sonar is for your adaptive cruise technology that's gonna read the cars around you and speed up and slow down based on what they do. Now right here, your LED headlights are housed, as well as your daytime running lights. Now let's come around to the side of the vehicle and I'll show you a few more things as we move down it. The 23 Hyundai Santa Fe is going to come in eight different color options, as well as have a few different wheel options. Additionally, you will have three different engine options. So you're gonna have a 2.5 liter engine option, a 2.5 liter turbo, or like this one, you will have a 1.6 liter turbo option that is equipped with a hybrid battery in the back. The hybrid battery will allow you to get better fuel economy on the highway as well as in town, and it'll fluctuate on its own when it needs power in different positions. Just as well, your brakes down here are going to regenerate the lithium ion battery that sits in the back for you. This particular one has 19 inch alloy wheels. Your blind spot monitor and your 360 degree view camera is gonna be housed here in the side mirror. This will have keyless entry where you just grab it with the key in your pocket and the vehicle comes unlocked. And as you go down the vehicle, you will see the curves of it to give it a nice smoothie, classy look leading to the rear of the vehicle. As we come around the back end of the vehicle, you'll see that your tail light is going to wrap all the way across and connect as one uniform piece. You do have a little bit of a wing up here to give it a sportier look. Your Santa Fe badge is right there, and then all these circles around the vehicle are for your backup sensor. So whenever you're backing up, it'll beep at you as you get closer to things. Coming over to this side, you'll see your hybrid badge as well as your H-Track badge. Typically, a Santa Fe will come front wheel drive. However, they do offer the H-Track, which is an all wheel drive system that will shift into the all wheel drive mode when it feels it needs more grip and various things. This particular one comes with an optional tow hitch. As we lift up the lift gate right here, and move inside of the vehicle. This first storage space is going to be for your tire mobility kit and then your lithium ion battery is housed there. As you lift this up, you have three separate storage spots for various things you may need to store, as well as this particular one does come with a tow hitch. Now to lay down your second row, you have buttons on this side of the vehicle. So as I push them, you'll see the left row lay down and the right row lay down as well. Looks like it got hung up on something there, but you go pick them up manually. To adjust your lift gate height, you will push this, hold it for three seconds, hear two beeps, and then you can pull it or lift it up to whatever height you want it to be at. And then to close it, you just push that. You are also able to open it from your key fob as well as from inside the vehicle. Now this vehicle does come equipped with a tire mobility kit in the event you do have a flat and are unable to call the roadside assistance number on the window of the vehicle. Right here, you will see 50 miles an hour is the maximum speed you're gonna to wanna to travel with that, and it will go for about 120 miles. To use it, you unwrap the cord from here. This will plug into the center console outlet on the vehicle. This end will go on the tire, and then you take this off and you'll screw this in there and then hit the on switch, which is located right there. That will air up the tire for you and fix the flat temporarily until you can get to the nearest service station. Welcome to the interior of the 2023 Santa Fe. First off, you'll see your leather seats here. They do also come in a cloth option. The leather is very soft and supple and forms to you. As you move over here to the center of the screen, one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do when you get your new Hyundai is set up your driver profile. So when you start the vehicle up, it'll look similar to this. You tap your driver profile, hit confirm, and it has your settings pulled from the app depending on however you have those set up. We slide to the left, you'll see all your different menu options. You have your hybrid, where it's gonna show you how your hybrid engine has been performing and how much of the electric motor it has been using. You have your map, where you can input addresses by typing them, or you can use the voice controls on your steering wheel and just speak it. So we go back here, you have all your different phone options to pair your phone. You do have a valet mode, 
that's going to restrict some of the functions that can be used on the vehicle in the event that a valet is driving so they can't mess with your settings. You also have passenger talk on this model so that way if you're on the road it will play my voice through the speakers in the back to all your passengers and you don't have to turn around and speak to them. Then you have a quiet mode that'll just silence the radio and be a lot quieter of a ride and your radio controls are going to be here. Now this particular one does have different radio options because it does have a Harman Kardon sound system. In it. As you move further down, your volume control is going to be here. You do have access to your map as well as your navigation here. Just as well, you have a favorites button where you can set specific functions to that button to where you can access them quickly through that. Then your zooming in on your map will be done from this knob. As we get here, this particular one does have dual climate control, which is the switches here. All of your other AC controls, such as fan speed and everything like that are gonna be controlled there in the middle. Your gear shift is going to be buttons. It's really simple. Just push the brake and push the button like you normally would if it was a gear shift. You have auto hold, a heated steering wheel, as well as your parking sensor button, and then your camera. So if I push this camera button, it's going to show your rear camera, as well as a 360 degree bird's eye view around you. Then as we get down here, you have ventilated seats on this model as well as heated seats. Some of them will come with just the heated and some may come with neither of them. Now on your key, your functions are as follows. You have lock, unlock, lift gate to lift it up and close it. You have your alarm button and then a park in and park out assist, which I will show you a little later on. And then your remote start function. Now down here, you have a charger outlet as well as a wireless charger, which you snap your phone into there and then a yellow light will light up right there. And then your center console with a removable storage piece. Now I'm going to show you guys how to program your favorite button. So all you have to do is simply push it and then your screen's going to change and then you can allocate whatever you want to. So if you want your passenger talk to be to your favorite button, just tap that, hit your own home icon. And then now when I push the favorite button, it's automatically going to start the passenger talk and then you'll be able to hear it play through the rear speakers. All right. So now I'm going to go through some of the functions on the steering wheel for you. On the left side back here, you have all your light controls for your daytime running lights. On this right side, that's going to be all your windshield wiper controls. This button will activate your voice recognition. That's how if you're on the phone with somebody, you can say call so-and-so, text so-and-so, whatever you may need to do. And just as well when you're using your navigation, that's where you, what you'll push to put the address in. Over here, you have your mode. That's going to change your mode for your radio and your sound system, what you want it to go to. You can actually highlight the specific ones. If you want it to go to Bluetooth audio, every time you press mode, you just push that. Then you will have your volume control, your control to scroll through your different stations and options here on the right side of the screen. This button will allow you to answer your calls and the one directly next to it will allow you to hang up your calls. Now this button here is gonna cycle through all your different menu options. So we'll start over here at the first one. This is for your lane centering and lane keeping technology. It's gonna tell you if it's reading the lines on the road effectively. If you go to the next option, it's gonna tell you if it thinks you're paying attention or not. So it'll actually get onto you if it thinks you're not looking at the road. You go to the next one, you do have a digital speedometer as well as your idle mode to tell you it is pulling off the electric battery power rather than the gasoline engine because we're sitting still. All of your trip engine info. And then when you go to the next one, you have a compass as well as this particular one will show you what brakes are being used to regenerate the electric battery and then your tire pressure as well. Now these two buttons here on your steering wheel, that is going to be for your lane centering and your adaptive cruise control. So when you push this one, a steering wheel icon will pop up on your digital instrument cluster to let you know that it is active. And then when that combined in tandem with your lane keeping, which is a car between two lines, when they are both green, it is reading the lines on the road. Now they won't activate till you get over 40 miles an hour, but past that they will function properly. The next button is going to be for your adaptive cruise. Now you'll set your cruise control just like normal with your speed and everything like that. However, when you push this, it's going to cycle between one, two, three, and four car lengths. And what that does is that's how far out ahead of you it's gonna read and match speed to the car in front of you and begin to slow down if that car stops and whatever the case may be. And the vehicle will actually come to a complete stop behind it at that same distance. And when that car takes off, It'll just tell you to push the plus on the steering wheel and the vehicle will accelerate back to the normal speed or match whatever speed the car ahead of it is at. So the next thing we're gonna get into is your rear view mirror as well as the controls on the roof of the vehicle. Your mirror is going to auto dim if it detects a vehicle behind you with its brights on, there's no need for a lever. Just as well, you have three different buttons to push for a potential garage door opener if you choose to pair it if you have a garage. As we move up, you have your 
button to connect you to Hyundai Blue Link services. You have your SOS button in the event of an accident, all of your light controls for the inside of the vehicle, and then your moonroof controls. So you have a cloth panel that is gonna slide back, and then your glass portion at the top is going to lift up the first portion of it, and that will slide back. So I'll do that real quick. And it will open to just about there. And then to close it, you just push it forward and then push it one more time to get the panel to come with it. All right, guys, so the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to pair your phone with the vehicle's Bluetooth system. So all you do is navigate to Bluetooth on your phone, simply tap phone on the screen. It's gonna tell you Santa Fe right there. You'll click it on your phone. It's going to give you a code. Just simply tap pair. And after a few moments, the screen is going to change. It'll allow you to sync your contacts. Now everything's all connected, and as it downloads the contacts, your call history and everything like that will pop up there. And then whenever you do get a cord, you can actually plug it in here and plug it into your phone if you choose to, and the screen will change and function on Apple CarPlay or Android Auto if you have an Android, and everything will be done through that phone Siri system or the Android counterpart. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is your seat adjustments. So right here, you have your adjustment for your lumbar button. You can push it in or out, and then you can raise and lower where the lumbar is positioned. This button will lean your backrest forward and back. This will raise and lower the seat as well as slide the base of it forward and back. And then this is for fatigue on longer trips. It's a pad that will actually extend to support the back of your legs. And these buttons right here, this is gonna illuminate your instrument cluster either brighter or lower. This button is for your lane keeping to turn it on or off. You just tap it. This button will open your lift gate for you, your traction control, and then your electronic parking brake switch is right there. You pull it out to engage the parking brake and push it down to disengage it. Now on your door, you do have a few different things. So this button, you'll push it to the left to adjust this mirror and the right to adjust the other one. And this dial will kind of locate and everything like that for you. This particular model does have power folding mirrors, which is this button here. All of your window settings are gonna be right here, and then your driver seat settings are gonna be here. So you have two different ones, you just hit set. Once your mirrors and your seat are set to how you want them, you push the number you want it on, and it'll save it for you. And then when every time you get in, you just tap that and it'll adjust it for you. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys Hyundai Smart Parking Assist. This is beneficial if you're ever in like a grocery store parking lot or a parking garage and somebody pulls in and jams your vehicle into where you can't even open your door. All you do is hit your camera button inside, you'll hold it, it'll give you a prompt saying it's enabled. You don't always have to do it, so if you can't get in the car, it'll be enabled from the last time you used it. All you do is push the button on the fob. So now if I'll back up and you hold it, and the vehicle will actually begin coming forward to give you some more space. And then it will still use your sensors and it'll stop. And if you need to ever back into a spot, you can actually line it up, get out, hold the button again. And then it'll back up for you. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a pleasure showing you guys the 2023 Santa Fe. I'm Jonathan with Mack Hike Hyundai in Victoria, Texas. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or leave your question in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe.